Everybody can hear me? Yes. Okay, awesome. You're not. All right, welcome everybody. This is Move, Meditate, and Make a Difference. I'm Amber, if we haven't met before, welcome. If you've been coming regularly, I'm so glad you're here. Um, Caius is about to join us. He's racing down from upstairs. I'll wait for you, kiddo. Um, all right, so today we're going to work on circles, which we have in the past. Um, so it's not, it's not new if you've been with us for a while, but it's always good to do circles. So let's start by circling our wrists. Oh, there's Caius who's going to help me. Can you help me circle your wrists? Later. He just wanted to make an appearance. So we're circling our wrists. You can imagine that there is a ball in front of each hand and you're trying to go around the ball with your wrist. So I'm just going around and then go the other way. And actually, what I really like doing is figure eight. So let's go back to them. They actually feel better. I was gonna try and do just straight circles, but this is much more comfortable. So <laughs> you're making figure eights or infinity signs, leading with your pinkies first, and then reverse. So you're leading with your thumbs. Okay. Okay, shake your hands out. We're gonna do big full arm circle. So taking a big, huge full circle. Two, three, four, two more, five, and six. Starting to wake up your body, reversing your circles. One, circling again, two, two more. Then circling your shoulders so they come up, they go back behind, they lower down to the floor, they come forward. Repeat, up, behind, lower to the floor and forward. One more time, circling up, back, down to the floor and forward. Now reverse, go down to the floor, back behind you, up to the ceiling and forward. Down to the floor, back behind you, up to the ceiling one more time okay now hands come to your shoulders circle your elbows in space two three one more and circle the other way two, two, four now reach your arms out to the side and now circle your upper or your lower arms through space your hands through space keeping your upper arms still and then reverse that. Good, now you're gonna circle your ribs. So you can put your hands on the bottom of your ribs if you want to imagine it. Start by just side to side, shifting side to side. Now shifting front to back, just feel what that feels like. You may try not to use your pelvis, so try to keep your pelvis really stable so you're might make it feel like it's smaller, so I'm not sticking my butt back. Just shifting my ribs, keeping my pelvis right on top of my feet. Now you're gonna circle side, back, side, front, side, back, side. One more time, side, back, side, front. Now you're gonna reverse. Front, side, back, side, front, side, back, side, front, side, back. One more time, front, side, back, side. Now you're gonna to change to your hips. You might wanna have your legs a little bit wider apart and bend your knees just a little bit. Start by tipping your hips front and back, front and back. Knees are bent. Guys, can you do this? Yeah, keep it quiet. Front and back, and then you're gonna go side to side. So hip goes to one side, other side. One side, 
knees are bent. That's, and your knees kind of help you move your hip. Now we're gonna circle. So start side, front, side, back, side, front. And just notice if there's spots that feel really funny. It might be that that's a place you could work a little bit more. Then you're gonna reverse. So now side, ah, front, side, back, side, front, side, back. Two more side front side back one more side front side back Sh circling your leg or swinging your hip it's the bottom half of a circle really relaxing this joint see how floppy you can make your leg you can hold on to something if balance is hard but i bet your balance is getting better switch to the other leg Swinging your leg. Six. Still keeping your shoulders right on top of your hips. Now, you're gonna circle one foot. Circle it around your ankle. Circle it around one way. And then circle your ankle the other way. Stop it. And we'll go to the other side, circling one way. And then circle the other way. Good. Now we're going to work, walk in a circle. So you're just going to trace a circle in your space. Now I know some people don't have circular spaces. If that's the case, feel free to make an oval or even just go forward and backwards and forward and backwards if you have a little space. Adjust all of my circles today to be rectangles or straight lines. Just fine. One more time, circling that space. We'll go the other way now, circling around. Two. Trying to keep my torso facing forward. Now we're gonna keep that same circle. So imagine that same circle. You're gonna step into a lunge forward out of the circle, and then you're gonna rotate and go again. So you're gonna go around the circle, four points. Now again, if you're in a small space, just go front and back. You can go front, twist, back, a little bit more of a twist. Now go to the side, back, side, front. So you're practicing good lunge mechanics, whatever your depth is. So it can be small, it doesn't have to be big. One more time around. One, two, and back to center, okay. So now we're gonna step outside edges. So we're gonna step side, side. So now my torso stays forward as I step outside of the circle to the side, to the side. So I'm stepping up and over. If we had an imaginary circle, that's where it is. So stepping side and side, side, side. So now we're gonna rotate it like we were before. So we go side, side, now twist, side. If this is just too much, just stay going front, side. We'll keep going the same way around. Rotate, rotate, and rotate. One more, now we're gonna switch to the other way. <coughs> so starting out, step side, now twist 90 degrees, step side, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, twist, 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 keep 
going around. Twist. Twist. Now pause. Now we're going to do the same thing, same idea around the circle, but with push ups. So we'll do four directions, our cardinal directions. We'll do front, back, side, to side. Now, again, just go front, back, front, back if you're in a small space. You're going to do, and the other thing is, if you're push ups, if you're doing push ups up high on the back of your couch, you can just stand up in between and then come back down to do your push up. The rest of us will be staying low, but that's a good variation. So now, on the floor, you're gonna do two push ups, whatever your version is. So you might have your knees down, you might go halfway down. You come down and up, down and up. Switch to the back, down and up down and up put your knee down and switch to the side down and up down and up put your knee down switch to the other side down and up down and up come to the center so partially this is just a sneaky way to get you to do more push-ups but the changing of your position is also really valuable so we're gonna do that again. Um, don't worry, just change position. If you don't happen to go to the side when I say side, it's really not a big deal. Just practice changing your position. So coming into your push-up position, two push-ups. Down and up, down and up, switch to the back. Down and up, down and up, switch to the side. Down and up, down and up, switch to the other side, and down and up, down and up, and take a break. Awesome, you guys. We're increasing your push-up numbers. This is great. So just know that it's totally okay to use dumbbells under your hands if you need to. You can also use a two-by-four like I talked about last week just underneath the palm of your hand so that your fingers have a little more space. Or you can go up on your fists if it bothers your wrists. So we're gonna do the lunges again. So we're gonna do this sequence twice. So don't worry, this is your last time through. So you're gonna start right foot, lunging forward, lunge forward, switch. Now lunge to the back, still right foot. Oh, I changed it. Did I? I did. I don't know. Go forward, I'm sorry, go side. Side, now go back. Now go side. Now go front, I yeah, confused myself. Yeah, it's different, it's different than the push-ups. Go side, go back, go front. Third time around, front, side, back, side, and we'll switch feet. Now your left foot goes forward, rotate to the side. To the back, to the side, to the front, Everybody. to the side, to the back, to the front. Oh, that was a side. No, I'm sorry. One more time round. Front, <laughs> side, back, side, and front. Push ups. So we'll do the front, back, side, side. Oh, my brain. Jesse's right. <coughs> We've got to do the side to side squats. So side to side. Now go rotated. Rotate again. 90 degrees. Rotate. 90 degrees. Now we're going to rotate the other way. So start. Rotate. Rotate. Rotate, rotate, last one, just across. All right, now we get to do push-ups again. So, two push-ups, front, back, side, side, okay? So, okay to use the back of your couch, just stand up between each two, that'll be your transition time. Come into your position, drop down into your push-up. One, two, 
and to the back. Feel free to add in clapping push-ups if you need more. One, two, now to the side. One, two, other side. One, two, come to the center. Shake out your arms. Okay, we're gonna do plank. <clears throat> so we're gonna go back down to the floor. We're gonna have three options. First option is just a regular plank. Second option, regular plank with your feet marching. So everybody can come into the regular plank, decide if you're gonna do the marching one. It doesn't have to be a forever type decision. This is one of those easy decisions of the day. You can just start marching your feet if you want to. If you feel it in your back, you should not be marching your feet. You can even bring your knees down. And then you can also add in circles. Let's do five on one side. Pulling that knee in. Three, four. Like I'm tracing a circle on the floor with my big toe. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. Everybody take a break. Woo. We're going to do that again. You can pick the same thing. Or you can try the harder one. Or can step it back down to a slightly easier one. So go into position. We're in plank. You can add marching. You can add circles. See if you can circle the other direction this time. One, two, three, four, five, other foot, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. You should feel it in your abs, not in your back. Feel it in your back is a clear sign that you should do one step easier, come down, take a little break means your back muscles are working and it's supposed to be primarily ab muscles. We're gonna come up to standing, find a nice deep squat. We're gonna hold here. Bring your hands in front. You're gonna press your hands together and press your shoulders down your back. So two different things, well, more than two. Pressing your hands together, shoulders down your back into your nice deep squat, it's a sumo squat. You can imagine you have the solidity and groundedness of a sumo wrestler. Feel yourself connecting to the floor. Holding here for 10, nine, press harder, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, now relax your arms, but not your legs. Stay here for 10 more seconds. 10, nine, what do you do with your arms? Eight, seven, six, five, ballet, four, three, two, one. And now come out with your legs. Whew. We're gonna do that one more time. So shake your legs out. Legs come out to wide. You're going to go as low as is comfortable for you. This is very personal. So pick the spot that feels right for you. Keep your torso upright. So try not to tip forward. Keep yourself really up straight. Keep your upper thighs rotating so that your knees are going, reaching out and towards the back of the room. Think about that. They're not actually going to the back of the room. So everyone should be in position holding this. Now bring your hands together. Press your hands together. Feel your legs working. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Squeeze your butt. 4, 3, 2. Now come halfway up. Hold there. 10, 9, 8. Make it hard. 7, 6, 5. Four, press your arms together, three. We're gonna go back down for 10 more seconds, as low as you can go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, Whew. come out. All right, that was our 20 minute workout. <laughs> Next we're gonna do meditate with Jesse. 
Thank you, everybody. You can stay as long as he's quiet. Is it? Okay. All right, I was watching you guys on the other screen. You look great. Um, everyone's pushing, trying to get a little bit lower every time. It's nice to see everybody on a sunny Monday, sunny here anyway. Uh, and I hope everyone had a nice white Easter. Uh, it was really um, yesterday we were just, you know, around the house and and I missed you guys. It was about 8.30. I was like, I've got all this energy. What do I do with it? It's because it was time to do the meditation. So let's find our, let's find our chairs, find our seats. Everybody sit nice and upright. <clears throat> find a groundedness through your chair. Let yourself breathe how you need to breathe. Teaching all the kids in the house, this is a quiet time, quiet, easy time. It's okay to play as long as you do it quietly. And close your eyes. With each breath, You're settling a little bit more, settling into your chair. Settling into any emotions that may be there. They're okay, just let them be there. In meditation, we approach it often like we're doing something, like we're doing an activity, when in reality, we're letting go of things that we're doing. And one of the biggest things we're letting go of is the future. So for five minutes, you can let go of the future and just be right here in your chair with your breath. Don't worry about the future, it'll come back. Letting your breath be just a little bit bigger and fuller than you naturally would right now. Feel what that feels like. Now go back to a perfectly natural breath rhythm, not exaggerated in any, any way. Enjoying your breath. Enjoying whatever gifts this moment right now has to give. Half a minute more, enjoying stillness. Stillness can be a very beautiful thing.
Okay, and open your eyes. Come back into the room, enjoy the sights in your room. I can see a lot of sunlight on snow where I'm sitting. It's a gorgeous morning here. Um, and now it's time for Make a Difference. All right. So the Make a Difference for today is? Oh, this, I forgot. <laughs> this is twice now I've forgotten what it was this morning. But I remember, it is, this comes from Hannah and Alma and Skye. And the idea is to do sidewalk performances for your neighbors or friends. So um, they have been bringing their Bluetooth speaker with music and going to a neighbor's house and setting up on the sidewalk so they're fully separated. And then doing a dance performance. Um, we or did any some, kind of yeah, performance. You could do it anything. could be a martial arts demonstration. Yes. Or a dance performance. It's particularly good for kids and brave adults. Go ahead. <laughs> we know you want to. And then you can take pictures of your performance and post it and share it with everybody on our Facebook group if you wanted to. Another variation, which I think these guys are going to do today, is they're going to go uh, off to grandma's where she lived. Great grandma. Great grandma's and are going to make a snowman and maybe a whole diorama. Out way in front for her and all the other people in the assisted living where it's all locked down. So. All right. So that's the make a difference. That's the make a difference. Thanks for coming, everybody. V for victory. Yes. Woo. Woo. All right. <laughs> We're going to switch computers and stick around and chat for a little while if anyone wants to. Thanks, guys. <laughs>